What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you. Shh, it's a secret. It's not really a secret. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 January Mustard Cube, AKA Cosmic Cube, AKA, I don't know what's happening with this box, AKA it's very, very late because it's already the middle of February. This box seems like it might be on its way to the same fate that Gizmo Crate had. Today I got an email that said that my subscription was canceled, so I was like, oh, did I do that? And then I got another email that said I was being refunded and basically that they are donezo. So I think if I read the email correctly, there will be no more Mustard Cube and this will be the last one, which is great because I was, you know, it was on my list of should I cancel it or should I not cancel it? And now it's easy. I don't have to cancel it. They just died. I'll put the pricing details in the description below. I believe if you go on their website, it still allows you to subscribe to boxes, but I would suggest not doing that because I, again, I think that they are donezo. I will try to confirm that uh, better tomorrow. Actually, does anybody else subscribe to this box? Can somebody um, back me up here? Like, are they canceled? I'm pretty sure they are, because per their email, it sounded like they are shutting down. You know, this box always kind of seemed like they didn't really know where they were going with it, especially once they changed the name of it, which was really strange. But I don't know. And this box is really late, and I think they sent an email saying that they had some problems with distribution or something. So at least maybe this will be a good box. So this is the very last Master Cube I think that I'm going to be getting. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Okay, this box looks like a hot mess. Let's look at this. I don't know what the theme is this box, but the first item that we got is a little figurine. It says, for the man, Zhang. Zhang? For the Dota 2 hero, Slardar. Slardar looks kinda scary. Now he looks fun in this one, but in the back of it, he looks kind of scary. Most likely I'm assuming from Dota 2 Hero, which I don't know what that is. It must be a video game of some sort. So here's a little figure of that. Next we got this little dragon thing. This looks like something I'd get in a year toy box. box. Ooh, burn! I have no idea where this guy's from. He looks like a bad guy that would pop up on, on Power Rangers, doesn't he? Come on, come on, let's be real. He looks like a Power Rangers bad guy. You know, and then they turn big and they destroy all the buildings. Wow, this box is kind of strange, actually. The next item is, I don't know what this is supposed to be, some kind of fake fang or tooth or something. It's a necklace. It just says fashion jewelry, so that's probably pretty generic. We got another dinosaur. This one looks like Godzilla. I might give these... Oh! Now this doesn't smell good? It smells of my childhood though. <laughs> you know when you open those plastic toys and it just smells like... I don't... I haven't smelt this in a long time. I feel like this is a smell of something that shouldn't be allowed in the US anymore. Like they banned it because it's like toxic. I'm pretty sure when I got my first Power Ranger Flexi doll Yellow Ranger, of course. It smelled like this when I opened it. Yeah. Anyways, here you go. That looks like a, a kind of version of Godzilla, I think. He's got a super long tail. Oh. Ha! Maybe that is Godzilla, because the next time that we got is a bucket hat, and it's of Godzilla. <laughs> I, scarily enough, do like bucket hats. I don't look good in them. But for some reason, I like them. I don't like them on me, I just like them in general. This was a very, I don't, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, and if that's the case, if I was a man, like a man buying this box, I'd be a little bit disappointed. Luckily, I'm not a man buying this box, but the next item I've got, which I like, is a Pokemon scarf. This is really cool. It's a BioWorld product. And it has the old, it's like old school Pokemon. So it just has Charmander and Bulbasaur and Squirtle and Pikachu. None of those, none of those new Pokemon that we don't want to deal with. So yeah, that's cool. Okay. I mean, this box came with a bucket hat, a scarf, and a freaking necklace. So I'm not quite sure where they were going with this, but they went there. Let's do a quick recap. Uh, let's do recap and pricing. This vinyl figurine, $10. This necklace, $3. Because it's generic. Uh, these two things, I'll be nice and give these a total of $3. What is that? $16. This bucket hat, I mean, I don't know how many people buy Godzilla bucket hats, but I'll give this hat 
$7, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And this scarf, I'll give this scarf $8. It's actually a nice scarf and it's a licensed product. So $31, so you definitely get your value. I think that, I think I paid $30 for this box, if I am not mistaken. So you get a couple dollars extra. This was a strange box. It's very odd. I don't really know what to say about it. It's very all over the place, very jumbled, very odd mix of items that are in it. And yeah. I like some of the items. It's not my favorite mustard cube. Um, I don't know if this box would have made me want to cancel them if they were still going. Probably though. I, really the only thing I like in here is the scarf. So I guess if I had to rate this box, I'd probably just give it a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. It's just very average for me. It hits its value. It goes a teeny bit above it and it's pretty average. So 3.5 out of 5 noobs. Maybe even potentially 3.25 out of 5 noobs, but I would go for 3.5 because I like the scarf. All right, that was your 2016 January Muster Cube. Again, I think that they're done, though. I think that they have um, closed down, shut down. I think they don't have a subscription box anymore. Um, you probably can still go on their website. As of today, you could, but I don't know how much longer that's going to be available. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe only if you want to. Um, if you haven't already, I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers currently, and I'm hoping that by May I can hit 6,000. I'm trying to be like a little bit better with my long-term goals. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about this box. Not that it really matters because I think it's going to die, but what do you guys think? It seems very weirdly boxed, right? It's like very random. Is it just me? It seems pretty random. It's a very random assortment of items. Like I said, I mean, if I was like a hardcore collector like this, like, hardcore dude collector, I'd kind of be like, why did you give me a scarf and a bucket hat and a necklace? But I know they're trying to mix it up, so I won't knock them for that. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.